Hello, my name is Fukutaro Kurihara, and I am 12 years old. I go to Nishimachi International School, and I am in seventh grade. I am a big fan of traditional Japanese culture, so I do taiko, Japanese drumming, and I play the shamisen, which is a type of Japanese guitar. However, from what I see, I think I look very ordinary. Then again, I might be slightly different from other kids. Anyway, I'm not sure why I am fascinated by Japanese culture, but when I was about three years old, I started to learn kyogen. I saw genie kyogen performances for the first time when I was in kindergarten, and following that, I joined a kyogen workshop for kids. As I grew older, I found out that kyogen's walk, voice, clothing, and stories were very funny, and decided to learn kyogen properly. So, what is kyogen? Well, Ko Kyogen is a comedy entertainment that started in the Muromachi period around 650 years ago. Usually, Kyogen is performed before or after a no performance, a philosophical and spiritual act with chanting and dances. Here is a photo explaining the no theater, the no gakudo, where Kyogen and no are both performed. Both Kyogen and No have been stated as the intangible cultural heritages by UNESCO. Although No and Kyogen are performed together, Kyogen has more comical action and dialogue. You see, after watching serious No plays, people need relaxing time, and that was why Kyogen was created. Kyogen has over 285 traditional stories, mostly foolish acts of ordinary citizens. When the servants are made to go shopping by the masters, such as the stories such as shib Shibidi and more, the servants make up an excuse not to do so, in which are the funny parts of the story. Although the people from 650 years ago might seem different from us, they are similar, in which we do the same things in the present today. Um, when you are on stage during Kyogen, you must remove uh, you must use the power of the stomach to make deep sounds similar to Western opera and performing arts on stage. But you, but you have limited stage props and no stage sets. The audience is supposed to use their imagination as they follow the play. It is the same concept of listening to a radio, imagining it in your mind. When you're on stage, you must remove all things that are a surplus to the performance, such as watches, Rings, earrings, contact lenses, false eyelashes, glasses, and shockingly, for elderly, they must remove the false teeth. Here is a photo explaining what, the, what kind of costumes you wear on stage. And here is a photo explaining what Yamabushi, mountain priests, wear on stage. Kamai is a basic position on how you are supposed to be when you're walking or running on stage. Ogi, this fan, is used when you're on stage and you don't have the item, but you are pretending that someone is using the um, item on stage, such as an example of a person trying to cut down a tree. They must pull out their Ogi and go, Sukot! Zuka, 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 zuka. Thank you. The dialogue is all in Muromachi style, so it is sometimes very different from our way of speaking Japanese in the present. In Kyogen, people have different hierarchy between each other, so people have different respect for other people. An example from the past is a master and a servant. Nowadays, it is boss and an employee. You see, their levels of power are completely different, so the employees must be polite to the boss compared to how when you're talking to a friend, you will talk to her or he in a different way because he or she ha holds around the same amount of power as you do compared to how your boss holds greater power. As you can see, I am wearing yellow tabi, but do you want to know why we use white tabi as well? Well, it is because in the past, in Romachi, they made tabi out of wild deer skin and um, animal skin, so the colors were slightly light brownish and yellow. Tabi is a Japanese-style sock that you wear on stage so that you don't walk and trip over the floor barefoot.
I will now give an example on and demonstrations on how the people from Romaji saw things and how we see things now. A simple example, as you might understand, are dog sounds. In English, we say bark bark or woof woof. In Japanese, we say wang wang. And 650 years ago, we said byo 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 byo. <laughs> Thank you. Showing emotion in Kyogen is probably the most uh, important key into bringing a successful performance to the audience. I will now give two demonstrations on how you show emotion on stage, crying and laughing. <laughs> crying is usually performed when you're sitting down and rarely when you're standing up. <laughs> Shattering po yeah, thank you. Shattering pottery is probably the most common interaction between two objects in Kyogen. Here's a cutscene from the story Busu, which two servants are breaking things in the house on purpose when the master is not around. Komai is a traditional dance performed in a certain amount of time during a Kyogen performance. Here's a story called Rabbit, which tells a tale about a person seeing a white rabbit jump from mountain to mountain. Here's a question to you for the audience. Have you ever encountered someone who couldn't speak or hear or have been in a situation which you couldn't communicate using voice? Anyone? <laughs> well, I have been in a situation which I went scuba diving and during that time we were underwater so we couldn't speak underwater so we had to use sign language and gestures. Um, so, uh, simple sign languages and facial expressions can have people to understand what you're trying to say underwater without having them to know the language. Amazingly, Kyogen, made over 650 years ago, has most of the common simple sign languages and facial expressions and gestures inside each story so that people who don't understand the language can understand what the people on stage are trying to say. I have seen a group of which their entire Kyogen performance with only sign language so that people who could not hear or speak can enjoy the performance. Um, sign language and facial expressions can have people not just um, related to Japanese people, but people with different backgrounds from all over the world to understand the moral of the story without having to know the language within. The point I'm trying to make in this presentation is so that you could understand and remember that in the future, Kyogen can be a tool to rebuild peace in this world today. This might sound hard to do, but actually, by making people laugh, it can state that Kyogen holds a great worldwide protocol connecting with what we, ordinary citizens, do today, every one of you. To prove this, I will refer to my Kyogen performance I gave recently. 
During that time, I did a performance called Busu. Ah, Busu というのはあの女性の意味ではなくあの狂言のタイトルです。Which means sweet poison with my brother and the teammate. The story is about two servants getting told by the master that Busu is not just an ordinary ingredient, but a highly poisonous ingredient, and they should not get near it, touch it, or eat it. But in the end, when the master comes home, he is devastated that the two servants found out it was only sugar. My, par、uh, my friends from all over the world came at that time, so no one actually knew what we were saying. I had to play Taro Kaja, the most foolish person in the story. After the performance, everyone congratulated me on how funny it was. I just couldn't believe they were laughing to a joke from over 650 years ago. Usually, people get tired or sick from jokes by listening to them over and over again. But because Kyogen is new to some people watching, and it will refer to something they have done in the past or in the present, it might seem funny for them and a new joke for them.、Um, I think that、uh, Kyogen can,、uh, if people with different backgrounds from all over the world come, They can understand what is trying to, they are trying to say because they will refer to something they have done in the past or in the present. I was so relieved to see my friends who came looking so happy, and I came to understand why Kyogen has been such a long lasting culture in Japan. I was very thrilled to find out that Kyogen has potential to change the world to a better place through humor. My parents say not to be emotional, but as my example shows, at least humor and laughing. Can change communication between people in this world today. So, I want to get laughs from di pe different people from all over the world with different backgrounds and state and rebuild Kyogen as a new communication system throughout their tradition. Thank you.